Ten years ago, Kim Bliznik was hiking along the San Andreas Fault in the Coachella Valley Desert when she looked up and saw something spectacular in the rocks. Channels running along the canyon that would later challenge scientists' understanding of how quake damage in Southern California might shake out. It came out at me. I was like, oh my gosh, said the San Jose State University professor of geology. It was really, really exciting. These channels indicated to Bliznik that a part of the notorious San Andreas Fault in the San Bernardino Mountains called the Mission Creek Strand is moving much faster than previously thought. A rupture along that strand would potentially redirect damage created by an earthquake along the southern part of the San Andreas, which scientists say could happen any time. For the longest time, the Mission Creek Strand has been modeled as being inactive. But actually it's the primary part of the fault, she said. The San Andreas Fault runs 800 miles up the backbone of California and marks the boundary where two major tectonic plates meet. The fault itself is divided into northern, central, and southern sections, and each of those areas contain strands or parallel pieces of the fault. These strands hold strain from the fault that builds up as the plates slide and push against each other. An earthquake occurs when this built-up strain gets released, and in the case of the southern San Andreas, that release is long overdue. While the northern San Andreas last saw a massive rupture with the San Francisco earthquake in 1906, the southern section hasn't seen a similar large event in nearly 300 years. Scientists think we're about 80 years past when an earthquake should have occurred, and say it's not a matter of if, but when one will hit Southern California. The 2008 Great California Shakeout scenario projected that a magnitude 7. 8 earthquake, about the same size as the 1906 San Francisco quake, would claim 1, 800 lives and cause $200 billion in damage. For the San Andreas, everything towards the west is moving north and everything east is moving south, said Roland Bergman, a seismologist at the University of California, Berkeley. The main fault's yearly slip rate, how fast the fault is moving, is 24. 1 mm. But it's not just the main fault line that causes worry. Along the southern end of the fault, there are several strands. For years, conventional wisdom was that the Garnet Hill and Banning strands, which stretch around the Coachella Valley and into the San Bernardino Mountains, held the most strain. But the three channels spotted by Bliznik in the canyon along the Mission Creek Strand, which runs for 22 miles just north of the Banning and Garnet Hill sections, proved the area was active. She and her collaborators collected rocks and pebbles from the bottom of the channels and took them back to the lab for dating.